Good morning antique lovers, this is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. I have another video here to share with you about new arrivals that will be going into the Vintage Touch Antique booth the week of May 17, 2015, located in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. I will be putting quite a few things in this week because I'm also putting in some of the patriotic pieces that I have ready in preparation for Memorial Day, which will be coming up in a week, and also followed by Independence Day. So starting on this end, please excuse anything that's in the background because this is a workroom and, you know, it tends to get some other things accumulated here. I have a nice print. Now, it, there is a glare on it, so I'm hoping you can get the gist of it. This is, this is in a nice flat primitive frame. This is a print of George Washington and this piece will be going in the shop for $25. I have a box of vintage. These are just vintage sparklers that the kids have always loved uh, at the at, uh, 4th of July time and they have the the new sparklers in there. They've never been used and it's just $2 for the box. I have a few books that are going in that are related to Americana. This one is The Illustrious Life of William McKinley and it has a copyright date of 1901. This book is a children's book entitled The Lives of Our Presidents of the United States and this one has a copyright date of 1898 and it will be going in the shop for ten dollars. And then I have one here that's got the American flag on the front which I thought was appropriate and this one is dated 1909 and it's entitled Finding the North Pole by Cook and Perry. So let me get those out of the way for you. I'm putting in this advertising plank sign here that's got a great label on it. It's got a a top hat there that looks like Uncle Sam's top hat and the shield, the patriotic shield and this plank sign will be going in, it's a fruit sign, going in for $13. In the back is a framed 48 star parade flag and let, don't forget that the 48 star flag served our nation from 1912 to 1959 and this piece, I don't have the dimensions of it, but it's, uh, I just really don't know what to tell you. Uh, probably around 7 by 10 maybe or something like that of the flag itself. And that will, piece will be in the shop for $29. I have something here that I'm going to put in at the patriotic season time because it is one of the cylinder records that you, that was, um, it has the, the cylinder record inside and it says on on the piece that it's for the talking machine record um, which is really cute and the, but it has Lady Liberty and a shield and a flag and so I thought that was really a good piece to put in at this time of the year and that's priced at nine dollars. Here's a great little piece now this is like a pressed paper this and I did do some research on this. This is from the 1930s. It's got the embossing and so forth you can see there and it's just a small little souvenir hat. It's got the stars and stripes around it and it's from a convention and it's a souvenir for a convention and of course it is the boater hat style and I will be putting that piece in for $18. Okay, and that's the patriotic stuff, and so now the rest of the things going in. Here's a nice old locker basket, uh, very heavy duty. These are very popular right now. It's got the number 13 on the front, and this piece is priced at $25. I'll be putting in this is a it's like a cardstock cover on this book, very thin book, but it's a Victorian era book for children called Happy Hours 
and it will be going in. It's by Charles and Graham and Company Publisher, and it'll be going in for ten dollars. Here's a nice little smaller suitcase, travel case with the with the stripes that's so popular right now. Um, in pretty good condition, clean interior, going in the shop for twenty nine dollars. Here's an old wire country country soap dish. It's a wall mount wire soap dish. It's got it's got its surface rust, but it's going in for ten dollars. A small green handle, wood handle, but it's got some green left on the paint. This is a little uh, dough cutter going in for nine dollars. Here are some Victorian era glass doorknob sets. They're in good condition, no chips, no cracks, going in for $12.50 a set. Here's a nice little tin wheelbarrow. Now he he is well used, well played with and loved, probably out into the sand and the weather and everything else. Has a remnant of the blue paint. I think this piece would be a great piece to put with a rabbit or something for Easter. Use your imagination. Put it with your garden supplies. This is a great little piece and it's priced at $16. Now this is an early baby rattle, if you can believe th that they would give a baby something like this to play with. But it's got the little um, plastic links there. It does. Let me see if I can get it turned around here so I can you can hear it shake a little. And it's priced at nine dollars. And I'm putting in an advertising button hook. This was for Hanover shoes. And these are also quite popular, going in for five dollars. Whisk brooms are another thing that's a popular thing for the country scene. This whisk broom going in for six dollars. In the back, I'm putting in an ironstone um, platter. This one's probably a 10 by 16, something like that. Um, it's of a Powell Bishop England platter going in for seventeen dollars. This is a great little piece. This is a booklet. It's got. It's in very good condition. Can't believe it because it's uh, copyright dated of 1916. So that makes it almost 100 years old, if you can believe. It's put out by the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company, and it ha it's entitled How to Live Long. And it's got rules in there for living long, and you will find that extremely interesting. I know I did. And a couple of well-used metal garden spades, very popular items this time of the year, going in the shop for $6 a piece. And I'm happy to put in another, or to have another uh, piece like this for sale. This is a Russian T10. It's got the little embossed dome top, embossed uh, all the way around. It's very pretty. It does have some wear. But Russian pieces right now are very popular, and this one I'm putting in for $7. Here is, I hope you can see the word sugar on the front of this um, sugar canister with the drop-down latch and the, and the um, I don't know if I can get this open with one hand. It's not going to do it. Um, it does have a hinged lid, and... This is 19th century tin piece and very, uh, again, very nice in your primitive settings and this one's going in for $29. And then finally, I've got a set, uh, it, this is the child size garden rake and shovel set and they're about 33, 32 and 33 inches long. They have wood handles and they are going in for $9 each. So that's what's going in to the Vintage Touch Antique booth, the double double space that I have at Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland, this week of May 17, 2015. If you're interested in any of these pieces or most of these pieces and you are not in the area or cannot get to Antique Crossroads, just drop me a line. I'll be happy to transfer them to my online store where you can purchase them there. Please check the description of the video for any uh, for information about how you can uh, find me on the on the web with my web page and on like 
online store link. And please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have your support in that way. All comments and questions are always welcome. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.